Hello everyone and welcome back into our latest challenge on this channel. So uh, a lot of you guys have been asking when the next challenge is, when the next challenge is and today today or tonight or whatever the time that you're watching this video you will be learning the new rules for our latest challenge. The latest challenge as you have seen in, on, the, on the title of the video called the 2020 racing car challenge or the automation racing car challenge or whatever title that I've chose for the video so you, it's obviously a racing car challenge and the rules are very simple uh, but before we crack on with all of the rules and telling everything uh, hit that like button and enjoy the video and of course focus if you want to participate in the video and get subscribed and share the video if you want to share it and remember if you want to participate in this video and sorry in this challenge you need to add my discord the link in the description below just press the link and you will be automatically added to the group so you can submit your .car file in the submitting page so you can participate in the challenge because I'm not accepting any email any email submissions or any sort of link submissions only the dot car file will be sent to the submitting channel like everyone else's so I can verify your car and uh, test it and, and pronounce the winners uh, in the in the you know in the result video all right so let's start with the rules well uh, since a lot of you guys has been asking uh, you know to give you a lot you know a a bigger freedom range when it comes to design cars and uh, I thought about it so you, you already seen this the this uh, boxer GT 600 car before but let me give you an idea about the rules well for the chassis anything is allowed I'm not kidding anything is allowed any material any chassis any suspension any engine placement go wild rear engine mid engine front engine anybody style you want but it should look like a race car so don't give me like a pickup or an SUV or uh, a hatchback because these are not racing cars for example check out this car the, the, the GT600 it looks like a Le Mans race car right I'm not telling you to use the same body but you, you know you should get the idea of the of the racing car as you can see it's a, it's a t truly racing car a single seat in the middle a big wing at the back racing car body that's it you know so and the qualities uh, you can go nuts you can go plus 15 minus 15 it's up to you but remember you will be you'll be limited by the car production uh, car production units and the engineering time for the engine and the total car uh, also production engineering time so don't get mad don't get don't go plus 15 quality but because you are limited as, as I'm gonna tell you you know later moving on the engine, as you can see, my car is using the uh, Boxer 6 twin turbo engine, which is very efficient, very powerful, make, it's making great, great, very great amount of power. But remember, uh, you don't have to go super, super uh, high on the power because I want a car that can handle, that can grip hard and doesn't understeer and doesn't oversteer you know a perfect racing car so don't give me a 3000 horsepower engine or a thousand horsepower engine because that will not be in your favor because your car will be uncontrollable so get creative focus all, your, all of your engineering power on making the perfect racing car you know perfect amount of power perfect amount of grip perfect amount of aerodynamics so get creative my friend so this box 6 as you can see made from magnesium so again any engine is available you can go any engine you want any material you want any capacity you want but and of course this is like a small tip for you you don't have to go super big because a bigger engine means a heavier weight and a heavy racing car no that is not really good so yeah also you know find the silver lining between you know lightness and power and you know balance find the balance between them you can go any head and valves any head, any cylinder head material you can you can use the vvl if you want although i mean it will give it will it will use more engineering time and more production units and this is only for you know road cars but if you want to use it it's up to you moving on the crankshaft connecting rod and piston you can use anyone you want any quality you want but remember you will be limited with the engine production units and engineering time as as i'm going to tell you you know at the end of this engine section any compression any cam profile any technology any quality you can go na you can go turbocharged it's up to you and let's see you can go and this is actually not really an efficient way but if you want to use carburetor you can use it I, i'm allowing everything in this challenge but 
why do you want to use calibrators because they are not really efficient when you want to make good amount of power but if you want to use them it's up to you but anything is allowed EFI, DFI, single point EFI, mechanical carburetor, single throttle per cylinder, twin, anything you want. And of course, since you are designing a racing car, this is your only option. Of course, you need to use race because it's a racing car, not a performance car. And the only fuel that is allowed is only ultimate 100 octane fuel. Only. That's your only fuel. Any air fuel ratio, any ignition, any RPM, any quality here. Uh, the exhaust. Alright, so if, if you are building a, a naturally aspirated engine, use only race exhaust manifold. Only. But if you are building a twin turbocharged engine, well, you can do anything you want. You can go uh, twin, single, uh, sorry, dual or single exhaust pipe, any size, but no restrictions, no mufflers, and no catalytic converter. Yes, no catalytic converter. Any quality you want also. You can go minus on anything, you can go plus quality on anything. And now the final result. As you can see, my engine is not really a thousand horsepower beast or something like this, no. My engine is 635 horsepower, 422 pound-feet of torque, 9000 RPM. Very smooth, very responsive, not really quiet, but it's very acceptable. Uh, reliability, well, it's in the, in the 50s because of a race intake manifold. Well, let me give you also a little tip. Uh, I'm going to also focus on the fuel economy because a racing car should also be fuel efficient. Why, if you're wondering that? Because when, you, when a racing driver wants you know, to drive the racing car, it will be driven all day, all night long with the throttle wide open, 100% throttle. And that means that the fuel injectors or the carburetor or whatever fuel system you're using is pushing the maximum amount of fuel in, always. And you don't want to drain your fuel tank like in a, in a single lap. You need to do like 10-15 laps according to the test track without you know going to the pit lane to refuel. So your engine should be also fuel efficient. I'm making all of this power, all of this torque, and it's still making 20%, which is super super efficient when it comes to a racing car. All right, everything now has been dealt with. Now these are your limitations for the engine. 70 points is your limit. Don't go above 70 points on the production units and don't go above 60 points on the engineering time. So yes, I did allow any kind of engine, but I don't think you can use the V16. If you have the V16, I don't think you can use it. Well, and that is very good. You can use it if you want, if you can, if you can manage a V16 under 70 and under 60 here, it will be awesome, but it will not be in your favor because it will be a small engine or a heavy engine. So yeah, get creative and don't blame the rules because I'm making these rules, this rule, these rules to make the car appearing to the market and to the uh, and to be driven on the test track in a perfect way. So 70, remember, 70 on the engine production and 60 on the engineering time. This is on the engine only. The car has a separate limit as well. So, this is my engine, if you want to, you know, take a look at it. It's a pretty nice engine, very good, very, very efficient, and I want you to do something similar. Very efficient, very powerful, and very good, and light as well. Alright, so the body that I've chosen, as you can see, yes, yes, I know the, the production year is 2020, which you should choose, by the way, 2020. The body is 90 from 1985. It's okay, if you want to use this body, it's okay, my friend. Uh, well, any quality you want, you can go 100, you can go 0, whatever you want. Moving on, any color you want, although, you know, race cars usually have, you know, they, they come with white color, but you can go any color you want, it's up to you. Now... Any fixtures also. You can use any fixtures you want, but I would love if you can, you know, keep your keep your mind that these are all of the fixtures that I have. Let me show you the fixtures so so you don't, you know, choose something that I don't have. So these are the headlights, these are the tail lights that I have, and these are the indicators if you want to use some. These are the grills that I have already. So, yeah. I'm showing you all of these things so, so, you, so you don't choose something that I don't have. The scoops, the fuel, 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 fuel caps, the door handles, these are all the door handles that I have, the side mirrors, and the rims, these are all the rims that I have. 
the exhaust tips and the, the miscellaneous fixtures, whatever the name of them. These are all the things. These are all the things that I have. Yeah. So if you choose something that I don't have, it will not appear in the game. And I'm not going to download all of the mods because it's making my game uh, super. It's a load super super slow. Moving on. You can choose uh, rear-wheel drive, you can choose all-wheel drive, you can choose front-wheel drive, but please don't choose 4x4. If I see any car with 4x4, it will be disqualified. Uh, my, my tip for you, if you are building like a 600-700 horsepower racing car, to go all-wheel drive. Because with rear-wheel drive, yeah, it will be really, really, you know, no, I'm not saying uncontrollable. Yes, it will be, it will be driven very cool, but... Yeah, it will not be very efficient to drive. You know, it will be uh, hard to maintain with with high performance, with high amount of power, like 700, 800 horsepower, going to the rear wheels, and that will result a lot of wheel spin and, of course, a lot of uh, a lot of spins on the track. So it's up to you. You can go rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, all wheel drive. It's up to you. Now the gearbox only sequential, no manual, no automatic, and no dual clutch. Only sequential. You can use any ratio, any final drive, any spacing. Differentials, you can also go any differential you want. Power distribution, it's up to you, any quality you want. Now, the tires. The only tires that are, that are allowed, of course, are the semi-slick tires only. These are your only allowed tires. Any tire width, any, any rim size, anything you want. And uh, any rim material as well, you, you can go carbon fiber, steel, anything you want, plus 5 quality, you can go any quality also you want. Moving on, brakes, any brakes you want, go nuts, anything you want, go with it. Aerodynamics, also, you can choose anything you want here, but make sure that the engine gets cooled and the brake brakes also get cooled, because this is a racing car, so the brakes will be working non-stop, so you need to cool them, that's why the brake airflow is 100. Any quality you want also moving on so the seats uh, the seat arrangement only single seat because it's a racing car you can go basic or standard none or basic only these four one two three four only uh, any quality you want power steering you can choose hydraulic you can choose electric but never choose none uh, uh, electraction control aids you can go none you can go uh, ele uh, super high like electronic stability control, loss control, it's, it's up to you. Go any, any go any option you want here. Even none. None is allowed if you want to do that. But you will be facing the risk of locking the brakes. But some cars comes without the ABS, so it's up to you. Any quality you want, any safety option you want. Yes, any. Any safety option you want, any quality, uh, any springs. But don't choose hydromatic. Hydromatic is for luxury cars only. Any option, but no hydromatic. And any damper, any sway bars, this is your own creation. You get creative here. Uh, any setup, any quality. Now, the final result, the test track. As you can see, this is my creation. It goes, you can, you, I mean, in, on, the, on the automation test track in beamng.drive, it can go 300, 310, but it says here 299, so it's good. Oh, this is not correct. Let me correct that. You need to remind the game that you have all-wheel drive. Yes, because that, that these are my results. This is not correct. Uh, I did 310 with this car. So 2.7 seconds. So it need this car, your car needs to be very very quick from uh, from zero to 100. Uh, as you can see, my car is super light. So your car also should be super light. And please, no brake fading. Your car is a racing car. You, you don't want your brakes to fade on on the track. Yeah, you need to have active aerodynamics. You need to have, uh, you know, very good amount of, as you can see, light, very lightweight car, no brake fading, very good, very, very good top speed. Of course, this is not a Bugatti Veyron. You, you don't, you don't have to go 400 or 370. No, this is a track car, a track car or racing car, 300, 310. Like that's that is very, very good. Mm, yeah, no more than 3, 340. No more than 340 you know, because you don't need that. Well, the, uh, the, the less roll angle, the better. The, all of these things will get you more points, you know, to win the challenge. Now, let's, let's go to the market. So remember, the country, the production country for this challenge 
no Gasmania, no Frenia, no Archinia, no whatever this. Only do only the Daluha, only this country. This is the country that I, that you will be selling the car as a truck car in the Daluha, and I w I will judge the price with 20% margin. So your car should be less than one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Less than less than one hundred and twenty. You can go one hundred and twenty exactly, but if you know the the less the better. As you can see, your car should be drivable. Your car your car should be very sporty. I don't care about comfort at all. Of course, your car should has uh, should have more than thirty points for safety. You know, in case of an accident, your car should be reliable. You know, because the, it will be driven like non-stop. And it should be fuel economical, as you can see my car can do 20 miles per gallon, which is very good for a race car. Emissions, I don't care here, and yes, these are your limitation. limitations. 300 is your limits on the production units, and 160 is your limit on the engineering time. And yeah, some of you will say in the comment section, oh, the rules are focused on your car only. Of course they are focused on my car, because... I've tried to make a V8, it did work, I tried to make a V6 uh, with the same car, it, it worked, I tried to do a lot of engines that, and also they, all of them did work with 300 and less than 300 production units, so don't go and nag in the comment section that, oh I can't do it, it's impossible, don't worry, it's possible, just calm down, drink some green tea, and get creative when you are making your, your creation, give me a beast, a true racing machine, that's what I want. And uh, the winner, of course, will be pronounced in the in the in the result video. So this is it. This is uh, our challenge for uh, for today or tonight. As you can see, my car uses push rod, sequential gearbox only, as I've mentioned. 60/40 uh, weight distribution. Very good engine, very good acceleration, and you have seen this car in previous videos if you want to check it out. So uh, get creative. Make your own creation and of course add my discord the link in the description below so you can uh, submit your dot car file in the submitting channel uh, submitting channel uh, channel only yeah just press the link make an account and you will be automatically added to the to the uh, to the channel you know group so you can submit your uh, your file over there in the submitting page so thank you so much for watching guys get creative and I hope that you are enjoying uh, enjoying this challenge and you have so much fun so the deadline for this video or for this challenge so since today is Thursday it's the 13th of September I'm gonna give you guys to Saturday Saturday exactly 48 hours from now so now it's uh, Let's see it now. It's 8:45 p.m. So 8:45 p.m. Uh, Saturday plus 3 GMT time. That's my local time. Plus 3 GMT time. That's my local time. So 8:45 p.m. plus 3 GMT time. Uh, the challenge will finish, and I'm not going to be accepting any more cars. So thank you so much for watching. Get creative and have fun and have fun and I hope everyone will be a winner and goodbye for now my friends.